Communications of Multidimensional Engines. Launch Communications Pro. All levels to maximum. Activate all dimensional levels of communication. Communication established. The voice you hear is known as Bob. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. This is the last slave planet in the galaxy. Under all agreement, under all rights, rights, under galactic law, 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 we now proclaim. This planet free, 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 free. The dissension of the true human consciousness has begun. Energizing Shambhala Diamonds. The men, women, and children of this planet are now set. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, or whatever the, wherever it is, wherever you are on our wonderful planet. Uh, Paul here, commonly known as Bob, whatever you are. I've been called quite a few names just over the last few days. Uh, again, my apologies for last night. We had, it all went wrong. I suppose it was going to happen eventually. Um, I think majority user error, and yeah, I don't know what happened with Skype. No idea at all, so... Um, to those people who were tuned in, we did get back on later and we had quite a bit of fun with Bob Earthwise and Sarah and uh, I've forgotten now, it was very late. Uh, but we did, have a, we did have a bit of fun, so. And everything's working fine again, I, I'm, I'm pleased to, to tell you. Um, the, um, you lot are there listening, uh, we're all, a lot are on this side doing it and the servers are nice and happy and, and I'm touching wood. I'm just going getting my lucky rabbit's foot throwing a bit of holy water about <laughs> whatever else I can think of because <laughs> uh, it is it's uh, it's been quite good to us today alright what can I uh, tell you there's not a lot to tell you when things don't go wrong um, when things I mean always when things go wrong you know it, it, we always kind of dwell on that side of it rather than the positive sides of it um, there are some uh, what can we tell you positive sides some of the the YouTube uh, videos have gone up. Uh, all Rick Simpson's ones that were missing from YouTube are now up there. Um, we are going to be stopping doing YouTube eventually, you know what I mean? But hey, you know, we, like I say, to the best of our word, we do our best to be, you know, to keep to our word, you know. So anyway, they, they've gone up there because they were, it was difficult. People were having difficulty getting them and we want to get that information out. So yeah, I know, I know, we've had to go on. Never mind, eh? So, yeah, but that, right, that, again, MP3s will be coming up available within within a week. I don't I, you, you know, I don't know, because when, when you're building these things, you don't really know, so I don't really like to put a time frame on it because it puts things, but roughly anyway, right, so don't, don't beat me up, right, if, if it's 
later and stuff. But when that happens, we're going to interview people to um, to help out. Um, just like go on the new site uh, and and let us know when it, you know when it don't work. You know, hey, that button don't work. That don't. Work. Can you, you? Hey, did you know that he's not called Brian? He's called John, and that kind of stuff. And um, and that'll be really helpful. That'll be really helpful. Uh, it don't cost nothing either. Really, um, you're there on the internet. Bit of a uh, bit of testing for us. Uh, also, to hosts, hosts. Now we've got some really naughty hosts. Um, really naughty. Uh, and because what why being naughty is we need pictures uh, or an avatar. It doesn't have to be you. You know, if you don't want to have your face there, then that's all right. You can have anonymity. I'll get that right eventually. <laughs> you can be anonymous. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so we need uh, a picture for you. If you if you're on the old site and there's no pictures there, um, then get in touch with Jabber, uh, Babylon Decoded. You know how to get in touch with them if you're on the queue group. Uh, so that's pictures for hosts and pictures for your show. If you've got a banner or something for your show, uh, and then so hosts and show. We need that stuff coming in really. Um, any slides people want to make for they can come in there. You can send them to me. I'll shove them in for the renders uh, for the videos. Uh, that's back on again. I can sort sizes out for that if somebody wants to get in touch. I know Lee's got a few of them and I haven't got them. I got, did get a file off Lee uh, to put them up. But, um, yeah, there's some other crackers about. So, to do with collecting them together, I suppose. So, them are going up. The website's almost sorted up and then as soon as that's up, obviously, it'll be a little bit of time then where we, we, we just, you know, make sure everything's fine. Uh, and then your MP3 downloads uh, or play them online and your um, your torrents should be back up and running at some point in the very near future from the man who doesn't do the future see you've got me planning for the future <laughs> so anyway anyway um, yeah servers are, are alright of course we still haven't got that third server um, we have done we've made a couple of changes and uh, yeah everything's look, we've, had, we've not had an issue we're not an issue, so again, like I say, lucky everything's. Uh, we may be getting towards a stable, uh, stable machine. I have said it a few times before, though. <laughs> so yeah, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Anyway, with us tonight, we've got uh, Dave still kicking around. Uh, smelly Dave. I mean, Dave Matthews. Uh, he's just gone for a shower. He's been stuck in his car in the traffic. He's come straight in, done his show. So Dave's whipped off for a quick shower. He won't be long. There we back. We've got uh, VJ and Jabba. Uh, I think we've got VJ and Jabba still there, or we might just have VJ, or we might just have Jabba. But we've got one of them because I can see the little pen moving. Uh, Lee's with us. Uh, Matt's still with us. VJ. VJ. <laughs> oh, did I call him? I've even got it bloody written down. What did I call him? VJ. You call. What did I call him this time? I'm the only Indian that begins with B. <laughs> is, is it actually true, man? That it came from Texas. Yeah, that's yeah. Every one of them is with a V. I'm the only one with a B. BJ, Indian. Right, Definitely. <laughs> is it actually <laughs> true though? That driving license you were talking to, you actually sold it to an Indian. Well, you were there, and he's been working as a taxi driver in London. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. It's 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 mine. When I was in Mali, I lost my driving license as well as my passport. Right. Now I've got to re I've got to reapply for my driving license. So I'm thinking maybe maybe you should try this out. You know. And Talk about the passport, do you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I, yeah. I'm, you don't pull the wool over my eyes that quick. I'm telling you, there's. There's another VJ in London now with, with, with six kills. How are you going to pay your child support for all them kids? <laughs> That's what it'll be. <laughs> they're going they to arrest him when he come to the UK. Yeah, yeah, they've cloned his identity, <laughs> haven't they, by now? <laughs> in Africa, yeah. They've definitely cloned my identity in Africa, all right? Yeah. No, but I, like I was saying, I'm very interested to see maybe try something out with them, you know? Let's see how far we can take it as a little tester. 
Yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah I'm not in the, I'm not in the UK, so I'll send it to my sister. Then I'll then she'll send it to them, and it'll, she'll be the she'll be the mediocre uh, husband <laughs> works. For, <laughs> her husband works for the police. <laughs> And you turn up with 400 parking tickets. <laughs> yeah. He thinks I'm a bit of a nutter anyway, but... <laughs> but it's, it's, about, it's about pushing the envelope, isn't it? it you know... Um, it is, well. because I watched I watched one, uh, one YouTube video of this Irish guy, and he explained it pretty well. Just send it back to them, you know, any document, because you're not that piece of paper. You send it back to them, and you have to do it in honour, and always respond in time. Because once you go into dishonor, that's when they got you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got to do things, mate. I'm not good with paperwork, man. I'm the first to admit it. Yeah, I hate it, mate. Yeah. It's, 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 that's, that's why I'm neither here or there. <laughs> it's giving me the uh, kind of like, the, you know, the, 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 the shivers, you know. The, I think we used to call them the EBGBs, but I don't know what, what is an EBGB. It's one of them, isn't it? You know, it gives me, it spooks me. It spooks me out, and now knowing what I know, I, I be, you're right to be spooked out with people coming at you with pieces of paper. You know these contracts. I mean, before you, you, before you know it, even really at an early age, we're we're contracting. Uh, have you have you? Uh, you should read the Indian contract law of 1887 or something like that, because that's that that is actually applied today. Yeah, I've read three books, I think, in my life. Jonathan Livingston, oh no, four. Jonathan Livingston Siegel, The Reluctant Master, um, The Prophet by J.J., um, by um, Carl, Carly and Gibbon, or Gibbon, and uh, The uh, 64 Keys of Knowledge by J.J. Attack. That's it. The only books I've read. I've oh, looked I have only read one, actually. <laughs> Say again? I don't think I've read one, actually. Yeah. Maybe Dam Busters. That's what, that was it. <laughs> well, touring school. <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm being serious. I haven't read a book. Um, drafts. It's drawings, time. Um, manual. Time to pick one up for research or, or you know to to find out how to do something and stuff like that. I, I, I kind of. But plenty of research, yeah. Plenty of research online, but not uh, physically picking up a book and reading it. Uh, I see uh, Dave is back. Is he? Is he? All oh, right. Do we, we can call him Dave now. We can drop Smelly Dave now, can't we? <laughs> uh. So, Dave yeah, anyway, if you're out there, this is the Dark City Show. We should have kind of announced it, really. Um, this is the Dark City Show. Phone lines are open, as usual. It's pretty laid back. Uh, we've also got Matt with us, uh, who's going to give us the inside dirty stories on Dave, what you know, what no, you know, like you don't normally know. He's got the photographs, he's got the dirt, so that'll be fun later. Of course, I'm, one just of I'm just making. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great. I was just making it up. I went along as well. I didn't really think I'd get any anything on. I didn't think I'd get a taker there. Uh, we got Sadoom as with us in the background always, um, checking it out for us, watching over his shoulders. And we've got uh, our Canadian connection, uh, Barry. Uh, um, now, now you actually know that we do have a VIP suite here now um, um, uh, at, uh, at Dark City Radio um, and where the webcams are on. And we've had to instruct Barry that you can't go naked on your webcam. Uh, <laughs> so that was a lot of days. My daughter, my daughter's do dog just about died last night, man. We never laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'll tell you the story real quick. Just a little. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Budweiser made me some brownies yesterday, and uh, of course I went around and passed them to my friends and brought one home and put it in a bag and put it on the table, and my dog got it. But the dog is my daughter's dog, and he's only the size of my ankle. And for the rest of the night, he was kind of stumbling around the house, and I, I don't think we ever laughed so hard in my life. Anyways, he's alive and he's he's all well today, so all it's all good. <laughs> but as a, we never laughed so hard, guys. It was fucking hilarious. But anyways, that's uh, well, that's what's happening here in Canada, guys. What's happening over Be there? Be really careful with chocolate brownies and cannabis with dogs, Barry. I know. I wasn't expecting him to get it. I wasn't expecting no, him depressant. to get it. Chocolate is a depressant to dogs. I know. I know. Yeah, it's really so bad for dogs. It, when you can really? give it, mix it with cannabis, it can really freak them out big time. Buddy, 
Buddy, he was not supposed to get it. Okay? Yeah, I know, Believe I know. It. I'm just putting the warning out there. I, I know, I'm not saying, you, you know, it was an accident. I'm aware but, of that. Yeah, yeah. He, ate, a, he ate enough intention. to put us all on a trip, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, not good. Yeah. But it was it was fun. <laughs> you had to be here. You would have split your guts, man, trying to get up the stairs. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about something else now. <laughs> but, yeah, over in Canada. That's the kind of shit that happens here. <laughs> Somebody else say something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there's, there's, um, so there's a few of us in the crew. You're welcome to join us. It's quite laid back. Uh, you know, say, do whatever you want to do. Uh, easy night. We may be getting joined um, by Dean, uh, but we don't know yet. Um, so, yeah, um, he's got some things to say. So uh, until then, or if not, then join us. Uh, lines are open. Uh, 0161 298 and if you're outside the UK, you want plus 44. That's plus 44. I'll say plus 44 because of my accent. 161-298-0298. Or you can Skype us at Bob's Backyard. The website is www.darkcityradio.com. And if you go to that website, you can just click on the big blue button. Well, it says Skype, Bob's Backyard, and you'll immediately get put through to us. It's pretty simple stuff to do. Or if you don't want to come through directly to the uh, the live room, um, you can uh, you can text Bob's Backyard. Or, or and this is the most favoured one, uh, if you click the button, the yellow button at the top of that page, it will take you to the chat room. Now, it'll open up another page. It says web user. Just put whatever you want in there. You don't have to register anything you want. Just make sure the bottom below, where it, the, the box below where it says channel, you put hash Bob's Backyard. It's normally there, but if it isn't, just type hash Bob's Backyard. And that'll take you into the chat room. Or alternatively, if you're already on IRC, you know what to do. <laughs> you already know what to do. We are on Anonnet, and the channel is Hash Bob's Backyard. Right, so um, the phone lines aren't going crazy. Um, I have got a couple of messages I can look at. Uh, anybody want to throw anything into the uh, into the conversation this evening? Well, there you go. There's live radio for you. You can see them all scrambling at the telephone lines now and just trying to get off the mute button. <laughs> Let me check out the text. See if we've got anything here in text. So what's been, uh, what's been going uh, on in the world? Um, well, I've had quite a few people contact me over this week, which is nothing unusual, I suppose. But regarding the Ashton Allotment Action, um, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, we've got a uh, we've got a video. Uh, somebody made a video, a promotional video. Uh, but besides that, I really don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Um, I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go up and try and clear a bit more land, um, and perhaps turn over some of the land where, where, where it's kind of got getting claimed back. There's um, a rush grass that grows on it. It's a pretty horrible thing to get rid of. So yeah, that's um, that's what I'm going to do over that weekend. And I'm going to chill out. I'm going to have a few a few days just sat around and, and doing nothing. Um, so I'm going to pitch a tent up there. We're going to, uh, you know, and I don't really know from much more than that. I'm just going to go and chill out on that bit of land for a few days. Uh, and plant some fruit and vegetables. Plant the seed of my intention. <laughs> and, cool. and it, it, it kind of comes into the solstice. It's the, the solstice, which has been like a, a ceremonial uh, it's a ceremonial time um, for way, well, way back, you know, way back before we had religions or we had... And, and it's really linked to, to agriculture, um, the the longest longest days and the shortest days. Um, I know Barry was touching on the brownies before, but if you grow in there, the, the light cycle and the um, to trigger the plants to flower, 
and this is going on all around in different species. So the length of the day um, is, is is really important thing in agriculture. Uh, also planting things, starting things on, on the moon cycle, uh, on the new moon. These have been known about for years. Uh, one little thing I came across a while ago, and I don't think it's really a common knowledge, uh, the yin-yang or the high chi, the, 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 the symbol of um, the, uh, the book of the I Chi. Um, the two, uh, it's a, a circle with um, like two teardrops in either side, uh, one normally black, one normally white. And they were stamped in a little round coin and there was a hole in one side and notches, little nicks took out of the side. Um, these uh, were used to identify northern and, he- northern and southern hemisphere seeds. <laughs> seeds. Now, of course, they may use been for may be used for other things as well, um, but that's how valuable um, things like that were in the past. Uh, and another bit is is if you get a northern hemisphere seed and plant it in the southern hemisphere. Um, it will it will it will it will flower and fruit in autumn rather than spring. So you've got to get the right seed for the right hemisphere. So yeah, the solstice and agriculture, land, uh, people coming together uh, without or not unorganized. It's not not meant to be organized. It, it, this is how I, I, I kind of I see how it would have been done. Um, and going back to earlier the the uh, on Dave's and the Dave show about. Um, I, I would, the way things are positioned uh, in our lives and what we've got to go past and what we've got to align ourselves with and to get what where we feel um, is the right place for each one of us. But we often don't notice it. We really don't notice it. But I think there's quite a few things coming together there. Uh, that piece of land now, um, two, two years... Is it two years? Is it two years or is this three years? I think this is the second year, isn't it, since we took it? Ah, it's, you wouldn't believe. I think, I think it's the third. Is it? Is it the third year? I was going to say that's amazing. I would say even three years. It's it's the third summer. Yeah. Um, it's the third growing season that you've been up there. Right. Well, it's three years then. I've been saying two years, Sarah. Yeah, it's definitely three. Oh, it's um, it is amazing um, that nothing's happened. You know, they haven't done anything. I mean, it really isn't. I mean, because of when you know the the the, the full story behind it all. But uh, yeah, we'll 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 tell people about that who come up there. I think uh, we've spoken about it many times on radio. Um, what what's gone on? Uh, I do want to comprehend. I know Jabba's here. I nearly said that word then. Uh, I do overstand. I do overstand the situation uh, that people are in sheer fear, uh, and I know I've said I've offered them unconditional surrender, and, and I still do. I mean, I, the, and what I mean by that is let, let's stop fighting and let's work it out. You know, there's no way they can move that mountain now, but we do need to know what's in it. We need to know what's in there and have a look. Um, you know, is the uh, what do they call them? The environmental agency, is it, to come and put a, uh, a cut through it, see what's been buried under there, uh, and maybe yeah, we we can we can turn that into a woodland and and, and park area, maybe, or, you know, uh, maybe with 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 fruiting trees rather than just um, you know ornamental trees. Uh, maybe we can we can we can kind of come to some solution there with these. Tyrants. They don't seem to be very good at coming up with new ideas. The only thing they seem to be able to come up with is profit. <laughs> well, I haven't got a problem with profits. You know, them people who can see what's going to happen. But I have got, uh, I've got a bit of issue with the other ones. That greed manifestation of give me more and more and more and more. Um, now, I, I haven't got, a, a, again, I haven't got an issue with people being successful or abundant. Sarah, Sarah covered it in her show this week. Uh, abundance I, I really haven't got a problem with that it's when somebody else is actually suffering or something else is suffering for you to get that that's where my issues get a bit bit weird uh, so yeah if nobody's using it 
No, and in this case, nobody's used this piece of land. Nobody's interested in it. Nobody's lodged a complaint. You know, all that time we've been going up there, maybe once or twice a week, just tending a bit of land. Not many people, but going up uh, regular. Uh, and like I say, they they fully know that what's going on there. They've been approached by ourselves at, at, at council meetings. They've been contacted by telephone, by letter, by the BBC, numerous radio. Oh, I said them again, didn't I? Excuse me. By major media, corporate, television stations. Oh. <laughs> by major media, corporate, TV stations and radio stations. Um, so they're fully aware of what's going on. They've been fully apprised of the situation. And, um, yeah, they do nothing nothing at all now I, I, I don't know whether now after after three years this is arrogance this is just arrogance or, or they thought we would go away they could they could but is it the bullshit broadcasting corporation thank you um, that, that, that you know they probably thought we may go away after the the, the bully boy techniques and um, I, I mean I think back over the three years what's happened to me and I'm really thankful now. I'm really thankful. Uh, I mean, not so long ago, I, I couldn't. I was like, wow, devastated over what was going on. Really devastated. Um, but yeah, uh, it's still there that opportunity. And uh, I've done it as Patrick a couple of times. You know, if you give me the opportunity, then I will take it. I will take it. And, and I think that's what they're, what they're doing. That's that's. And I mean, there as in. The authorities questioned here. They, their inaction has created the opportunity for our action. Their inaction. If they would have actually done what they said have done, and and, and the weird thing is that they say that I'm irresponsible. That what I've done is irresponsible, and what we're doing is irresponsible. Um, but if they would have had action, then I couldn't have had my irresponsible action. So I actually agree with them. Yeah, I am irresponsible. Yeah, I have had that because they didn't have any action. I had to have irresponsible action. But it's better than none. It's better than not doing nothing and, and they still haven't done anything. So the longer they leave it, the more that point is proven, the more incompetent or the more corrupt um, they, are, they, they seem to be. Uh, and again, I, I'm not certain whether or not my my jury's out. I don't know if they are corrupt or they're incompetent, but there is there is a, there is no there is no other field down. There is no other there's no 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 other go, negotiation uh, points to negotiate between there. Um, so yeah, for those who don't know, three years ago on St George's Day, thank you very very much, Sarah. Over the bank holiday weekend, we informed our local authority that we were going to go and take this piece of land which had been designated as an allotment site. Uh, they lied and cheated about it to their own council members, and uh, they thought we were just not us, crazy people. Until the week later really well that following Monday uh, Tuesday because it was a bank holiday uh, I, I was on the telephone to my local uh, MP uh, my local councillor excuse me um, and I got him on the telephone I recorded that conversation uh, and him telling me about the alternative sites that there was an alternative site to that site uh, to the original site well the original site must have been the site we were on and they were speaking of an alternative to that site but he was actually then trying to tell me he had no knowledge of the site it's a bit of a weird conversation um, so yeah we went to uh, we went and went to meet the MP and the MP told us he was in fear of his life for an illegal tip there's no tipping charges on any of it and that's when I, I suppose I entered the surreal world um, he um, he supported us. He supported us in his action. Uh, he, he wanted to help us. Nigel's got him on tape. Uh, Nigel recorded it all the, the 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 conversation. And uh, yeah, um, since then they've done nothing on that land at all. Uh, nothing on on the land. They haven't. Um, but what's weird is is. Everyone who 
well, not everyone, but the majority who had something to do with it now either work as, you know, council employees, charitable organisations funded by governments, um, the same MPs, uh, the police officers and the fire brigade that smashed into my home because there was smoke coming out of my chimney. Um, um, they all go to the same Masonic Lodge right at the back of the police station. Who would have known that? And I actually got that information off, off, off uh, my solicitor when they were taking me to court. They actually found that. Uh, and they said it was a vindictive attack. And that's what they were. They put it over that, that I was actually being attacked vindictively now. Uh, not only by um, the cohorts of the council, like I say, and that's all they are, bully boys. That's all they are, bully boys. Uh, but what hit me really hard was members of my own family. Members of my own family. You know, my brothers and sisters that I'd stood with, um, they've now got too much to lose. They don't want to lose the job, you know. They don't want to lose the the position within society. They don't want to do that. So yeah, you see, when then, when then, when you don't have success, you know, when, when your little missions are failures and they don't make it, and and you've lost your brothers and sisters and family along the way, it can be a bit tough. Well, that's what we call as armour. See, once you've been scarred a few times and cut a few times, you've lost a few times in court. You've been locked up a few times by the police. You get a bit wiser, you get a bit tougher to it. You know, they don't manipulate you as quick. You're not such easy bait. You're not the uh, you're not the dopey wildebeest at the back going. Can you smell lions? <laughs> you know, and you're not. You're right up there in the middle, moving with the rest of them. You don't get uh, you don't get torn apart by them so easy. So, yeah, I really, really do think more than anything that they thought we'd go away. They thought we'd go away. I think that's what they think most of the time. They seem to play a, a, a long-term game. They pass on the baton. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like they're playing a, a relay race uh, and we're playing a, a let's argue with the next group because of ego and greed. No, it's a little bit weird how we're e so easily divided up why we can't run that relay race because we can outpace them. As individuals, we can keep up with them. And they have to keep passing in the baton on. If we do that, we start to work together because we can. I ain't got a chance. That's why I really like the Dark City imminent attack. <laughs> I really like it. Because now that's what happened. When they hear Dark City, they duck and they take cover. <laughs> it's working. It really is working. Um, we're... we're uh, we're making a, a little bit of a dint in the side of it. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Uh, join us. Join us uh, 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Friday, Saturday, 20, Sunday. 21st, isn't it? Yeah, the 21st. It's the 22nd um, and 23rd. Yeah, I think the 21st is the... The 22nd is the solstice, is it? The solstice, night, is it? It normally falls around the 21st, 22nd, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah so, so join us up there. It looks like we'll get the weather. Um, like I say, it's a field. It's a field. Um, Nigel? Plenty, of room, plenty of room for camping, plenty of room for people just to come along and have a nice time and find solutions. <laughs> yeah, just meet up anyway, you know what I mean? Just yeah, exactly. a, a bit of a meet and greet, you know, mm. if nothing else. Like I say, I don't know, do what you want to do. Bring your bongos, bring your guitar, you know, play a bit of music. You know, do, have a do, nice time, isn't it? do whatever you want to do. Um, we do, 
we, like I say, I don't make promises because you know we're working with volunteers. Um, but what we may have, we should have a live stream from there back to Dark City all set up with production on on site. So that should be pretty easy doable. Um, uh, we were looking for a half a, uh, um, you know, so we could have a, a fire to get a barrel, perhaps a barrel up there or something. That was one thing that was mentioned. Uh, there's some tents going to be going up uh, as well. I mean, <laughs> she's about this tent going up, maybe a, a large, I don't know. It's somebody else is doing it, I heard. Um, somebody's putting up a, a community tent or something. So I have no idea what that is. Uh, so what, Jabba's coming? Is Jabba, Jabba's coming bringing his guitar, is he? No, oh, Dave. Dave, 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 Dave bring his guitar and uh, um, he, he suggests to people to take earplugs. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, Dave, if you're that bad, I'll bring my guitar, we can do it. We'll do a duo on Sunday when we need everybody to go. No, I'm saying well, there isn't. That bad. By and the way, there is, there is actually no go on that. You know, that, that was, that's, uh, just so you know, that, that, that's when we are going to be up there. That's when, when the, the, the people have kind of said, let's do something for that weekend. But you can go to that land and do stuff on it pretty much whenever you want. Uh, what we've asked is, because it, it's kind of got a little bit wild again, that you walk over the land first before you do anything. You know, just check the area. There's no nesting birds on it and stuff like that. Because uh, it is quite a... It is starting to turn back to the wild after the motorway work has uh, has gone through, you know. It needs a bit more help. Um, and, uh, yeah, the little wooded area at the bottom, we kind of stay out of that. We're just trying to let that return. It is a little bit um, of, of the edge rose survives there. There's not much of it. Um, but it is there, the old edge rows uh, on the edge of the railway. Oh yeah, it could be a great thing. Uh, if not, it might be uh, half a dozen of us. Uh, well, it might be me and Dave playing a guitar, and, you know, the twilight hours to the uh, the crackling of embers uh, just at the side of the motorway. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's a nice spot. Um, it's got a beautiful views around it, but it is a little bit exposed. It is a little bit exposed. So. Yeah, join us up there. It's uh, Junction 23. It's right near the Junction 23 of the M60 motorway. That's the ring road. It's not a real ring road. Um, it's made up of a few bits of motorways. Um, but the M60, it's on the east of Manchester. So you want the M60 ring road east. And there's a video, actually, with directions being given on it. Um, I would suggest if if we do get a few people there that you, you look at parking on the on the uh, big huge car park on the complex that's there uh, rather than uh, uh, tr trying to drive up to those little gates because if, if you get a few people there that lane's going to get blocked pretty quick and there is a house there they're going to need access to their house so yeah that's about it really. Now, there's a massive, great big site as well. If people want to go and take that and put banners up, no tipping charges, you know, no tipping licenses issued, you know, uh, breach of European Act, whatever it is, what is it, £200,000 euros a tonne, be my guess. Uh, but nobody seems to want to cover that story. They all seem terrified of it. I don't know how far that reaches, but that's not a few million pounds, you know. It's hundreds of millions, really is. If there's a million tons on there at forty pound a ton, you know, that's forty million in it straight away. <laughs> there's more than that. There's more than that. So, what will become of it? Uh, like I say, hopefully we can work a solution out. But I, I don't really think they should be allowed to get away with it and make a profit out of it. That don't seem right. I'm sure they already have. I'm sure they already have. So a bit of a gathering. I've said it before, though. You know, if you're coming up there, like some people have, right, as a provocateur, right, as a trouble causer, you know, just to try and, you know, just do, just do us a favour, you know, go to a Bilderberg Festival. <laughs> right. This is about people working together to try and bring forth, um, you know, ideas and, uh, and create a bit of a better quality of life for people uh, who are willing to put their hands in the dirt and actually do a bit of something to make it happen. It's not really for people who just want to, you know, 
bitch and put videos on YouTube, really. Um, it's, uh, that's what it's that's what it's about, if anything, I suppose. Like people coming together, having a good time, and being creative, being creative. So we can do with some cooch grass weavers, somebody who can who can weave this grass into something useful. Um, apparently, it was used for bedding at one point. So if you get up there early with a scythe, you might not need a tent. You might be able to construct yourself something. Right, we've got a few minutes to go. Um, if anybody wants to just uh, finish off, I haven't got anything else to say really um, today. More videos going up the next few days, and the uh, web website should be uh, there in a few more days. It's progressing good. I'm really. Uh, Bob, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being every day. Uh, on air and uh, make make it possible. Thank you very much. Uh, I agree. I agree, Bob. You put a lot of time and uh, we all need to thank you. And I wish I could get all you guys out to BC here in the next couple of weeks because we're watching the uh, Skeena River here very, very closely and she's starting to clear up and our runoff is just about over and as soon as that's done, we get into the best salmon fishing in the world. So I wish you guys could be here to experience that. We get the 50 and 60 and 70 pound salmon running up the river right beside my house here. So I wish you could be here for that. Maybe next year. We're doing a hemp fest here in July, guys. Let's start saving up our pennies. We'll come out for a four-day festival in British Columbia. Well, they keep telling me I've got to have an holiday, Brian, but now I've been told that, that I can only have an holiday when they tell me I can have time off. Which You're going to come in July, right? Next year, long weekend. Um, oh, Barry. Not- <laughs> I'll be away before then, mate. I'm not doing all the winter in the UK. No chance. Our Is it correct? You're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to drink beer while fishing? Um, you know what? Now, if they come along and you're operating a boat and you're drinking beer, you yeah. can get in trouble, right? But if you're sitting on the riverbank having a beer, fuck, fuck off. You know, leave me alone. Because <laughs> you're not operating a motor vehicle. Only time if you operate any kind of a motor vehicle, they can get on your case. But if you're sitting out in the bush having a couple beers, buddy, huh, go away, man. Don't bother me. They'll no, check you for a license for that shit. But, uh. yeah. Only if you haven't read section 32 and 52. Okay, so what does it say then? I'm not allowed to have a beer on the riverbank? Go read it. I'm not, okay, I haven't read it yet, buddy. I, I'm still on the radio here. If you're, if you're ignorant of don't it, don't pick on Barry now. Don't pick on Barry now. I'm an old guy. If uh, <laughs> I, I would imagine, if if you don't know, then they have to inform you and not give you the opportunity to stop doing it before they can take it. I'd imagine. Okay. Well, I've never heard of anybody being harassed on a, a riverbank for having a beer. We've seen yeah. them on television. I've seen them. Well, not on television. We got In Canada? I, I don't know. I don't know if it was Canada. Okay. Well, yeah. well, if it's happening here, I've never heard of that before, and I'm out in the rivers all the time and fishing all the time. Yeah. As soon as the fish start showing up, I won't be. I'll be out quite a bit doing it because we. Uh, I'm, uh, we I am, to be honest, though, Barry, I, I'm more looking towards Africa or Spain. Um, I am really. Um, I don't do like Destiny or anything like that, but I am really uh, getting pulled towards this. This. Um, this. The seed bank, um, you know, building this uh, earth ship, this, whether it's an earth ship or not, I'm not quite sure. Yet. I've got my head around that. I've, I've seen a few ideas just recently. Um, but something, you know, which works within thermal mass. I'm working with thermal mass. Um, well, oh, I got the parrot. The parrot's getting into the act here, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you want to say? Uh, <laughs> let, let him talk. Well, you know, he, he, every time I get on this radio here, he's up there. He wants to get in it's here. It's your man. radio. Yeah. <laughs> Includes parrots as well, you know. <laughs> but if you ever get a chance to come over to British Columbia, gentlemen, you'll always have a place to stay here, that's for sure. And uh, a, a free guide for the river and a free guide for the ocean. Guaranteed to catch fish. So that there you go. Sound nice, that does. I love salmon. Yeah, you know, the only thing now is that we're really, uh, I was looking at the reports from fisheries and uh, the, the studies they're doing on them are contaminant levels and we're going up um, exponentially. So it's disturbing, to say the least. Radiation and mercury, and it's all going up through the roofs. So it's getting to a point where you don't want to eat a whole pile of them, and they're already saying that to us. So 
God, that's scary, man. This food we've had for hundreds of years that everybody's decided off here are natives and everybody else is now uh, just like the rest of the world. It's catching up with us. Uh, 80% of all salmon is already uh, vaccinated in the world. I know. I know that. And plus the fact that, you know, years ago they allowed these fish farms to go on and we're still, in, we're still feeling the effects of that. Now um, any fish farms in British Columbia have to be fully self-contained and no access to the ocean. But prior to that, they had them in big nets. The divers were down. Of course, there's holes in that. Now you've got fish farm fish mixing in with our well stock, and it's not good. I've heard a few reports on that. It's pretty scary. For everything we're doing, buddy, I mean, it's not a good situation. Even in a land that's supposed to be pristine now, we're, we're, uh, we're starting to really see the effects. They're a lot so, more prone to disease as well, aren't they, fish farm fish? Oh, yeah, and then we look at our, 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 our youths, man, our... our our percentages of cancer and our youth and, and stuff that's just going through the roof. It's unbelievable. Um, and I, leave, I read these reports down. It's almost like a, a point where I don't want to read the reports because they just shock me. But, yeah, I feel compelled to read them, that's for sure. But anyways, a few things I wanted to add today, guys. I always like tuning in and listening to you. And I, like I said, Paul, uh, you do a hell of a lot of work for this show, and I really appreciate it, bud, because if you took Dark City away, I'd... I'd uh, I'd go bang my head against the wall here. I love listening to this channel. I learn lots of stuff every time I tune in, and that's what it's all about, right, friends? Yeah, I suppose it is, man. Uh, it's nice to be appreciated. I thank you for that. Uh, like I said, yesterday with all that, it was the first time I threw the towel in the corner and went, <laughs> forget it. Yeah, well, don't you do know, that. That was. Don't do oh no, it. I did, man. There was there was nothing I could do, and, and it was the first time I'd actually gone right. Well, there's no point us carrying on here. We need to get all this shut down. And we need to start again. Uh, and sure enough, we've done that. We've changed a few things. And hey, it's back. And it's been quite an easy... Uh, it's been a really easy an evening, hasn't it? Nothing's dropped out. Nothing's broken. What you know? I will do this year, guys, is when I'm out oh. picking mushrooms, I'm going to take a bunch and dry them for you. And I'm going to put together a little care package this year for you guys. And I'll send it over to an address later this year. And you can all have a taste of uh, wild British Columbia mushrooms, and I'll do that for you this year because I get tons of them in the season. I'll send you some morels and some bolitas and some chanterelles, and you'll enjoy them. Sounds so nice. I'll do that in the future. I'll do that for you guys this year when I'm picking. I'll set aside a dark city package. <laughs> that sounds absolutely that sounds oh, yeah. absolutely wonderful. We'll send you some silly cyber and some liberty caps and, and some flag <laughs> out <laughs> they love our mushrooms, man. We, we're spoiled with the morels, man. I love your eating a morel mushroom. Oh no, but, no, two of them yeah. you'll have a great time on, and one of them will finish you off. You have to work out <laughs> what it is. It's like playing Russian <laughs> roulette. Well, okay. well, I'm going to share them with you sometime if you haven't eaten them before. Yeah, that's don't for eat, sure. Don't eat the liberty cap. <laughs> that's that's the tip. I tell you something else. My buddy let me in on this. So, and we're uh, uh, anyway. out of time. Okay, okay. We're all done. We're all done. We're out of time. Uh, I don't okay. think anybody's been aware of it, but there has been quite. Um, there's a few anonymous things kicking off. Anonymous uh, have supported us in the past. Uh, it's a group of self empowered individuals coming together on common causes. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take it out with uh, the. Uh, in fact, I've got two running actually. I'm going to play the turkey off. And then after that, you've got Babylon Decor. He's going to play. There's, I do believe, uh, there's Fox News. He's in there um, from the other night. And then there he is. Oh, and I've just lost it. The Dark City Canadian show's on there somewhere. I just can't find it. Anyway, this is uh, Operation. Well, I'll, I'll play both of them, actually. I'm just going to play both of these. And then let's... Uh, let the replays play for you, folks. Thanks for joining us. That was the Dark City, and thanks for supporting us. Without the listeners out there, without you people tuning in, and you know, it's a, it's a Skype chat, isn't it? Really, at the end of the day. Thanks, everyone. Do appreciate the support. Anonymous uh, petrol op twenty for June, and uh, the uh, anonymous uh, decoration operation Turkey coming right up.